My name is William Robinson Clark. Robbie to my friends. I was born in Kingston, Jamaica on the 4th of October, 1895, and it was a good year. I lived a good life in Jamaica, played cricket, football, rugby, and I could have run little at college. When war broke out, I was 19, still a young man, full of life. I wanted to support the motherland. I got myself together and made my way to Britain. And on the 26th of July, 1915, I joined the Royal Flying Corps, RFC. I started as an air mechanic. And on the 20th of October, 1915, I was dispatched over France as a driver. But all I wanted to do was fly. Every time I saw those planes flying over, I knew that that's where I wanted to be. In December 1916, I got accepted for pilot training in England. And on the 26th of April, yeah, on the 26th, um, 26th of April 1917, me, Robbie Clark from Kingston, Jamaica, get my wings. I got the Royal Aero Club certificate and was promoted to sergeant. I joined the four squadron RFC at Adelie in Belgium and fly the RE. Eight biplane, a two-seater bomber plane, developed for the British Army. So I'm out on observation on 28th of July, 1917, when we were attacked. I was doing some photographs a few miles over the other side, when about five hun, so we used to call them, scouts, swooped down upon me. And before I could get away, I got a bullet through the spine. I managed to pilot machine nearly back to the aerodrome, but I had to put her down because I was too weak to fly. My observer escaped without any injury. I made a full recovery from my wounds, though I went back to my motherland, Jamaica, after the war and worked in the building trade, but couldn't get the army life out of my blood. I became a life president of the Jamaica branch of the Royal Forces Association. I'm proud of my contribution.